So he's provided sworn testimony, and the and, uh, he and is, Senator, he is not, Senator, let me let me finish. He uh, the 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 allegation came in weeks ago, and and nothing was done with it by the ranking member, uh, and then it sprung Judge, on me. Judge Kavanaugh, I've heard your your line, and you you say it over and over again, and uh, I have that well in mind. But let me ask you this: He authored a book titled "Wasted: Tales of a Gen X Drunk." He references a Bart O'Kavanaugh vomiting in someone's car during Beach Week and then passing out. Is that you that he's talking about? Senator, uh, Mark Judge uh, was... Uh, your knowledge, is that you that he's talking about? I'll explain if you let me. Pro proceed, please. Mark Judge was a friend of ours in high school who developed a very serious drinking problem, an addiction problem. That lasted decades and was very difficult for him to, to escape from. And uh, he nearly died. And then he, developed, then he had leukemia as well on top of it. Now, as part of his therapy or part of his coming to grips with sobriety, he wrote a book that is a fictionalized book uh, and an account. I think he I picked out names of friends of ours to throw them in as kind of close to what for characters in the book. So, so you know, we can sit here. We don't know whether that's you or not. We can sit here and you like make, make fun of some guy who has an addiction. I'm not making I don't think fun that of really anybody, much is uh, really good. I'm trying to get a straight answer from you under oath. Are you uh, Bart Kavanaugh that he's referring to? Yes or no? That's you'd it. have to ask him. Well, I agree with you there. And that's why I wish that the uh, chairman had him here under oath. Now, you talked about your yearbook. Uh, in your yearbook, uh, you talked about drinking and sexual exploits, did you not? Senator, let me, uh, let me take a step back and explain uh, high school. Uh, I was number one in the class. Freshman. I, and I thought no, 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 no. I thought only the Senate. You got this up. I'm going to I'm going to talk about my high school. No, no. I'm going to talk. Man, sir. I'm going to talk about my high school record if you're going to sit here and mock me. We, we we were I think we were all very fair to Dr. Ford. Shouldn't we be just as fair to Judge Kevin? Say. I busted my butt in academics. I won't always try to do the best I could. So I recall I finished one in the class, first in, uh, you know, freshman and junior year, right up at the top with Steve Clark and Eddie Ayala. We were always kind of in the mix. I, I played sports. I was captain of the varsity basketball team. I was wide receiver and defensive back on the football team. I ran track in the spring of 82 to try to get faster. I did my um, service projects at the school, which involved going to the soup kitchen downtown. Let me finish. And going to tutor intellectually disabled kids at the Rockville Library. Went to church. And yes, we got together with our friends. Does this reflect what you are? Does this yearbook reflect your I, focus on academics and your respect for women? That's easy, yes or no. You don't have to filibuster the answer. Does it reflect your focus on I already academics? said the yearbook in my opening statement. The yearbook the judge, is obviously... Just wait a minute. Uh, he's asked the question. I'll give you time to answer it. The, the yearbook, as I said in my opening statement, was something where the students and, and editors uh, made a decision to treat it, some of it as farce and some of it as exaggeration, some of it celebrating things that don't reflect the things that were really the central part of our school. Yes, we went to parties, though. Yes, of course, we went to parties, and the yearbook page uh, describes that and kind of makes fun of it. And as a you know, if we want to sit here and talk about whether a Supreme Court nomination should be based on a high school yearbook page, I think that's uh, taken us to a new level of absurdity. So, Ms. Mitchell.